Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alex and big time today we're going to talk about new tool for searching and analyzing the journals indexed in the Web of Science database. Actually it's not a new tool, it's just good news that um, Clarivate Analytics company just uh, improved their search engine for the journals uh, to look and analyze the journals that they have in the Web of Science and uh, related in indexes. So let's see how it works and how it looks now. Okay, let's go. The website is still remaining the same. It's MGL Master Journalist Clearweight.com. Here we are. Initially, I recommend to sign up to the website in this system. It will open some little benefit that you may use for searching the journal so it looks like this design and there's the description on the new tool that they introduced and actually we can here search by the journal title the title word or the ISSN number uh, previously it was a bit uh, complicated just like you may you have to put some title word and then you have to select the parameter like title word in order that the search will be a proper way uh, otherwise if you if you may type or insert the full journal title but uh, the parameter will be uh, just title word so there will be no search results or if you type the ISSN number of the journal but uh, it's some other parameter like uh, unlike the ISSN, so there will be no search results as well. And for the time being, they have uh, elaborated more easier way to search and to type the necessary things that you need to be in the search results. Uh, let's click on search journals, just not type in any, anything. Here we see the, the system to the left we have filters like Web of Science coverage, we can select some uh, citation indexes uh, or some other Web of Science, some other databases. Then we can select the open access option if you need to search for the journals that have only open access model of publication when all the papers that published they are open worldwide. So next it will be the category, here you may click and there will be the list of the categories th that you may use or you can also, for instance, you can type eco ecology and there will be some hints to click on the necessary category. Then you, you may select the country or region of the journal or a publisher and then you may select the language of publications in this journal. Also, you may select the frequency. It's a very useful tool to choose the frequency because if you wish to publish your scientific paper in a three, four month period, but if you search for the journal, which will be only annual, so it means it's only one issue per year. Uh, so there is actually the little probability to publish such a paper in such a journal so it's better to use some more frequently published journal and also you may click on journal citation reports to search for the journals which are have up-to-date ranks okay let's go further uh, also let's click on view profile page for the first journal we see it's dimension materials we see the ISN number IE ISN the publisher name and the description of the journal about and general information very useful like website of this uh, journal uh, separately maybe the website of the publisher the frequency of publications country and other some information and also a separate website for the submission of the papers. Also you may see the 
indexes for the citation of the journal and some additional information like uh, not only Web of Science core collection but other uh, databases where this journal is indexed. And also in previous version of this uh, website there was no possibility to look at the impact factor but now we see the information is up to date about the impact factor about the journal metrics as well it's very useful not to browse somewhere else for the information about impact factor of the journal and some information about peer review terms okay and let's go to the website of this journal as an example Uh, next, on the master journal list, we can use the very useful tool like Manuscript Matcher. It means that you may just type the title of your paper, an abstract, and there will be some relevant results uh, and uh, appropriate journals for possible publication of your paper in terms of the title and its abstract. Uh, this is a very useful tool uh, it, we have a separate pet podcast uh, like uh, about Elsevier journal finder and there are also the publisher like Willy and Springer they also have such tools like uh, searching by title and abstract so let's see how it works here uh, as an example let's take the first paper that we have in the journal we just opened let it be this one. So we will copy the title name and the abstract as well. Okay, let's find let's type find journals. Okay, here we see 48 results, it's 48 journals that could be appropriate for the publication of the paper like this one. And they have a very interesting tool like match score. It means uh, that it's like an index and if it's more up to 1.0, so it's the most appropriate journal for the potential and possible successful publication of such a paper. And uh, you can sort by match score or about the title from A to Z and vice versa. So let's look down below. So the match score is going fewer. How do you think if you can search for the journal where we have found the paper initially? I mean two, dim two dimension materials. Let's look further. No. So it's page number four and we see second D materials, two dimension materials and this journal match score is only 0 0.16 but as we see the paper has been successfully published in this one journal. And next uh, we can also download some useful information like uh, about the journals in that are those citation indexed and other products and databases on the platform of Clarivate Analytics. But actually it, uh, it will be a CSV file so it's not very appropriate look in Excel for example. Maybe in some other uh, design it would be useful to download this information as well so i hope this video was useful for you thank you for watching and see you next time